In this bag, I have a new release of irons and one that I could potentially be using for the rest of the season. Today, we're gonna have a look at them and find out if they're going in my bag. Before we get stuck into the video, guys, make sure you are a subscriber to the channel by hitting the little button down there, totally free to do. We want to help you with informed decisions and better golf play. Let's get stuck into this video. And the irons in question are the new Blueprint S from Ping. And these things, just as a first look when you get them in hand, to me, I've always loved the look at Ping irons and these just keep going. They also have as well, running alongside these, the Blueprint T, which are more of the bladed-like version, more of the player's version, which I'm probably not good enough. So we're gonna take a look at the Blueprint S today. We're gonna play nine holes. I'm gonna see if I can shoot level par with just a half a set of them. And if I do, they're going in the back. So we've come down to Pula Golf Resort. We're on the back now. I'm going to play holes 10 to 18. 3,200 yards off the yellow tees for us in a par 36. I think I might be a little bit hasty in level par given that the wind all of a sudden has just picked up to hurricane speed. So I'm going to give myself a little buffer. Anything within three over, I think, is um, a go. But what I want to do, instead of just giving the normal data on the sim, and hitting some shots, a few shots out on the course. I want to play nine holes with them. I want to see what the shape's like, what it is like to work these irons. Obviously in the wind today, we're going to get a good idea of what the control will be like and also talk you through some of the data because there's a few different things in these blueprints that we've not seen before from a ping iron. So let's go. Hole one is a par five going straight up the hill. It's uh, one heck of a way. It's playing about. 750 yards in this wind today, but I'm gonna get the four iron out, give it a go. I've got four iron, six iron, eight iron, and a wedge. I'm going to be able to use putter as well. Probably before we tee off, it's notable that I actually play the I-230s at the moment. So they're their slightly chunkier brother, I would say. A larger sole, a thicker top line, a bit more of a, a muscly back, as it were. It looks a bit chunkier as they're going back. So one of the first things that when you get these out of the, out of the bag and you put them down, that top line straight away looks so much crisper and cleaner as you actually put it in behind the golf ball. Let's see how they go, though. Probably shouldn't have hit that so high, but it felt good. A little bit right, wind's got it. Okay, we're off. We're off and running, folks. Not the ideal fairway finder. I think uh, need to switch on the old noggin. Hitting it high in the wind is not a, a good thing, but luckily, not too much to delve with. We've still got one heck of a way here. 400 yards going up this hill. So I think it's gonna be four iron, four iron, four iron today. Hopefully get me on. That felt awesome. That is such a good ball flight. I'll take that one, sirs. I'll take that one. One thing with the looks as well is what you'll notice, the four iron, well, the three, four and five look a little bit different to the rest of the irons. You'll see a little bit of a pocket in here and the pocket itself is something to do with the design and the tech, which I'll get onto a little bit later on. But even when you put them down behind the golf ball, what I do like from them is that from toe to heel, they're actually pretty similar lengths from three iron to wedge. They're all pretty similar, but it appears that the longer irons are just a little bit more stretched to the eye because of the profile of them, as well when you're getting down into the shorter irons, they look a little bit deeper and a little bit more compact, both blended with that nice crisp top, um, thin lead and edge, makes it look a little bit more sort of players-like iron. It doesn't look as forgiving as maybe the I-230s, which I've got at the moment, but it definitely looks a little bit more sleeker and looks a little bit more what would, what would good word be like playery behind the golf ball not a great word but you know right we've got 180 for this third shot up the hill into the wind if i actually get this on it'll be a miracle i've got to hit like a punchy draw to try and keep it low and out of this huracano oh, <laughs> be the one I've absolutely nutted that. That was so good, that flight. I mean, I'm 10 yards short, but no one was getting up there with a four iron. Not even T breezy. Stop. I was quite lucky there that I had the backstop because a pitching wedge with that shot, I could have made, I would have had to get it pin perfect to spin up, but, Lovely little backstop to give me a little bit of a 
creativity. Even with that being a pitching wedge, it just looks as well. The leading edge just sits so nice to the floor. It just feels like you can open it, close it, and get those different little shots with it. Play a variety of short game shots. This will be a par for the ages. We'll take that on that hole. Four iron, four iron, four iron. Wedge, put. Who said golf wasn't interesting, eh? Mm, not the shot we wanted. Wind got hold of that one, but we're safe. What's good as well with these is when you've got these compared to the T model, the T model, like say, is more of the player's version. When you see both hand in hand and when you're looking down on the ball, they very much look the same, but with the S, you're getting the benefit of the, the cavity behind it. So when you want nice little delicate shots and finessey stuff, you've got like the look of the player's one, but you know, you've got something backing you up as well, which is nice. Sit, 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 sit. Ah. Came out a little flatter than I wanted that. More of my fault, not the irons there though. Turn. Thought the wind was just gonna push that. It's our first bogey. But I'm not too worried because I actually struck it nicely, just that little bit too much turn on the iron coming in. But that's that. Let's go and take a look a little bit about the technology down the next hole. I think the first thing that we have to know is that Ping have carried on with something that they didn't do for many, many a year, and that is providing a forged club head. 8,620 carbon steel forged head. And then they also, in the other irons that I alluded to, the longer irons, three to five irons, have that little pocket, and that's a forged pocket in there that allows for feel and also weight to be moved around the club head in the longer irons. And then they have their elastomer inside the forged pocket, which is providing that feel throughout the longer irons. In the shorter irons, from that six iron down to your pitching wedge you don't see that because with the way the head's constructed they're able to move the weight around anyway and from what you would think from this iron you're not looking for a, like a distant super forgiving iron so it's more about the shaping of the iron and more about the feel of the iron in those ones but it's good to see again that they're carrying on with the forging process in their irons this par 5 the 12 is going to play very different 400 and 68 yards today and it's downwind instead of 560 straight into uphill let's get the four iron flying down here oh I've pushed it idiot bounce the trap oh that had a wild kick out the trap then don't know what that hit just down the right we should be okay i've only got 190 yards to the middle of the green i'm going to go pitching wedge because we're downhill and the wind is that strong that i think that i'll pretty much fly this onto the green be good be good be good be good oh just pitched in the slope at the front and just trickled off the green just going miles out here this wind <laughs> Oh, feels like a different world down here without that wind battering you. But just shy of the green, just a little chip up now. Only got to get this on because I've only got pitching wedge. It will run and it obviously is downwind. I literally need to land this about here. Might have to cut across it to try and generate a little bit more spinny winny. One of the other things as well that they've done with these irons is they've still got the Hydro Pearl 2.0 finish. So moisture and water is meant to glide off them a little bit easier. So you get the, the grip from, you know, juicy rough. Um, throughout winter or if it is a little bit dewy in the morning you're still going to get some good interaction off the grooves there's also a tiny milling on the face as well that when you look closely at it you can see it in between the grooves you can see it on the toe of the club not so apparent when you've actually got the club in behind the golf ball but from a closer inspection you tend to see that and again that's just to help aid with the the spin the control these irons like i say the the s and the t are aimed at maybe your better
better player, your lower handicapper who are looking for more of the, the control, the workability aspect, the feel, being able to get you know precise distance out of the club instead of thinking, well, I want the forgiveness and I want to try and get the maximum out of there. So just little factors like that all blend into these things and they did design them with the, the top tour players, your Tony Finaus, your Hovlands and such to give them their insight into what they would want. Let's see if that little milling can help me generate a tiny bit of scruzzer. Oh, look at that spin. Go on then, go on then. Yes, baby. No! No! How is that missed? <sighs> that was pretty much... When that ball was about to go in, that was signed, sealed, delivered, get the contract. Blueprint S, you're in the bag. Eagle chipping, yes, baby. Then we just got, get out of here. You're not coming in today, son. Go on, get up there, boy. Anyway, birdie, back to level, on to the next. Where are you starting the golf ball? That rock there, and it's gonna move there, okay? And that's the swing. So all you gotta think, where's your target? Target, target, target. Wow, that wind is so strong. I've hit a worldie up there. What is good, what I am liking is the, the control, the shots I'm trying to hit like there, a little lower cut into the wind. You're able to do it and work them and get that movability with each, with each iron, whether it's a, a wedge trying to hit a little softer one or the longer irons trying to keep the flight down with that and the mid irons. Definitely seeing that. I think I get that, that a little bit easier from the I-230. With the I-230s, you can do it, but I feel like everything just wants to go up in the air a bit more and wants to jump a bit more as where well. these, I feel like I've still got forgiveness, but I've got that workability with it. One of the other things that they've done amongst the irons is this little screw that you can see in the toe of all the clubs and then also inside the shaft, right in the tip, there's a little weight and that's for fine tuning the swing weight. You'll get a lot of players that like certain weights throughout the clubs. If you were to go to the pink factory and get a fitting, you would be able to fine tune these, but that's one thing that's in there on every iron you'll see. So if you want it a little bit heavier, a little bit lighter, you'd be able to take at that feeling and then also what they've done throughout the models if you were someone who wanted the maybe blueprint T so in the eight nine wedge you wanted something that was completely bladed and you wanted that real sort of player's iron they have a blended set and also the lofts are the same throughout them so if you go from the s to the t or even the i230 from maybe four five six and then into the blueprint s in the next ones the lofts all match so you're not seeing any big gaps throughout them which i think is a, a nice idea because even for myself, would I potentially, if I do have these in, would a four iron, would a three iron in the I-230 just give me that little bit more forgiveness in those longer irons? Or do I stick with these and maybe nine and wedge, I get in the T. Something that they've got covered when, they, uh, when you do want to look at those bases. Into this par three, I've got a pitch because it's uh, one heck of a windy, you can tell by my hair fluttering. Gonna knock a wedge down up the right hand side and let it just almost play like a little drawy pitch here. Just to get it chasing up the tier. Float it up. Hopefully the wind's killed that a bit. We'll find out when we get up there. I sense this putt is going to be quick. Be a bit more tentative. A bogey. A bogey. Not to be on that one. Tough that because I absolutely nutted that four iron. Maybe the drawy one would have been better, but good to see I could get that workability. On to the next anyway. Our 14th hole's 330. Again, another blustery affair. So I'm going to try and get that low four iron, a little turn on it. Get that workability going. Ball in the back. Just hold loads of loft off the face. Oh, I've just necked it a bit. Got the lowness, but didn't get my turn. That's good, that, because it's pretty poor strike, and I've still actually got some out of that, which is pleasing. Nearly a shank. Let's see if we can get a little extra out of this one. I've got to get up high quickly, then got 170. I've got my six iron, so 190 club. Let's see if we can just find a few extra yards with these. 
have they got that ability oh that felt so good shame it's just clipped the tree because it's taken 10 yards off it just shy of the green i tell you what the feel compared to the i230s because of that forged nature i'm really really liking that it's it's been a while i've had those in the bag now for maybe a year the i230s and i forgot how good a forged head feels just that little bit of softness and just sounds that little bit more punchy when it comes off the face i am enjoying them might play a little flop with my wedge here wow that's running those greens are slick today travel go on ah well that takes us to two over i don't feel like i've done much wrong yet the irons are feeling good i'm liking them let's see if we can pick a few up coming in 15th par four let's go baby fairway and it's bounding down come on pitching wedge 166 up in the air let the wind bust it i don't even think it has to be a full-blooded affair turn on it Not bad, sir. Feels great off the club face, that. Well, a par. It's a nice little up and down return. We've not had, it's a little bit difficult with a wedge. Probably wouldn't be choosing to play a lot of the shots with a wedge, but I've hit some nice chips to be fair. Just that little bit beyond, but it's probably more me than the clubs. One thing we need to talk about is price. How much these clubs are costing. Now the price, upon first reading this, I was a bit like, Ugh. and even with the G430 10K Max we've seen come out, that's at the higher end. And these irons per iron RRP are 200 pounds. But, looking at what the set might comprise of when you're thinking of a player's set of irons you're looking at maybe four iron to pitching wedge so that would be 1400 pounds about 1800 dollars i would think but then if we look at all the other manufacturers when we actually see them hit stores with a similar rrp they're actually about 300 pounds less so i would hesitate a guess that a four iron to pitching wedge in steel you're probably going to see actually at 1,199, 1,250 pounds. So not as big or shocking as what the RRP writes because they fall in line with pretty much every other brand really in this bracket. And comment down below, do you think that it is just getting silly now or is that just a going price everything's going up is that what we should be expecting to pay because i think you know we go back 10 years and we we're looking at maybe just under a thousand pounds for a set similar maybe with a three iron in as well you're going to be looking close to that 1500 for a three iron included but i don't think they're, they're overly wild if they were you know the higher end of the 1000s getting close to two then i would i would have a serious concern with them That's a nice shot. Golf shot. If they did that every time, I'd happily play one, two for them. Let's see if we can put a bit of daylight in between this ball and the hole. Happy. <laughs> How is that possible? It's gone over the edge of the hole at dead weight. That was a easy par right two holes to go one shot left in the kitty see if we can get it get it done the 17th 420 yards uphill into wind dog leg left to right i feel like the four iron's getting a right battering today but it's standing the test of time if we can walk away with a par here i'd be happy it's got it stinging low right to left oh that is just so good 
The best thing I think about these at the minute is the feel. They feel phenomenal off the face. I've missed forged irons. Can I come back, please? Right, 200 yards. I guess playing on a tabletop mountain uh, in a windy season is gonna take its toll, but do you know what? These blueprint S's have definitely stood up to the test. Do you know what I'm really like? I'm really loving the the flight control. The feel is like a massive tick, and then this knocking the shots down, hitting little workers. Something that I, I've sort of maybe taken for granted with my other ones. Just let the wind drift it. You've just got to hit the shot. Just on the right edge of the green there. That was nice, felt good again. Just climbed a little bit, but off an upslope, pretty hard to keep it low. Just a bit right of the green. I'm actually quite happy I've not gone in the bunker because I don't want to actually scuff my nice wedge. Wind's into us, which helps. It's about 30 yards, this. So just float this pitching wedge up. This would be a nice up and down. Keep us in that bracket. Spin. Not bad to be fair, just a little pushy, but we've got a chance of making another distinguished par. This is quite a big putt because the last hole is a long par three. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> it does help when the greens are like actual snooker tables are here at Pula that you can get a good roll on them now and again. Right, on to the last and give you my final thoughts on these irons. Well, overall, I've been mightily impressed with the Blueprint S. I think the feel is the top thing for me. They feel fantastic. The looks are really nice. Then that little bit of help in the longer irons and being able to work them is definitely what I would want from a player's set of irons. If we can make par here, I'm definitely gonna look at putting these in the bag because I think I just get a little bit more from them than the i230 but if you're in the market for a player's iron definitely worth checking out price could be a little bit lower but so could many a thing let's see what we've got anyway down here four iron again to come to the rescue little punchy number into this hurricane hole in one closes out oh that could be a hole in one oh no the wind's got it well it's pin high on the green, did everything I wanted there. I love that low little shot with them. Wasn't meant to be. Two over, I'll take that, given how windy and long the course is. Guys, hope you've enjoyed the video. We'll see you in one very soon.